Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. Today's topic is adding sketch lines to drawings. Now, I'm going to show why you might not want to do that, and I'll show two other methods that I think are a little bit better. Let's jump right in. So this question came from the Fusion 360 Facebook group, and the person was asking how could they dimension like an angular dimension between these holes? And you'll notice like these two holes are kind of at an angle from each other. Now you can do that in Fusion using the create sketch command. Now I personally don't like using this and you'll see why here in a moment. And I'll show you two other methods that I use instead. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the create sketch and it puts me into like the sketch mode and I can create lines, rectangles, circles, text, etc. I can also change like the line type and the line color. So I'm going to change this, let's just say to a center line and I'm just going to use the line command and you'll notice it catches to endpoints and midpoints, etc. So I'm going to click from the center of that circle to the center of that circle and say finish sketch. And we just added this sketched line on top of our view. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw a dimension on here from this top object line to here. But you'll notice when I place that I get this little warning message. And this is the reason I don't like using the create sketch for this. Basically what this is telling me is that this dimension isn't attached to actual object geometry like these holes or the outside of the rectangle. And then the main reason I don't like using this is if I were to move my view, you'll notice that those don't move with it. So let's do a couple different methods. So let's take a look. The second method is to use a sketch from the actual object geometry. So I'm going to go back to my 3D model. I'm going to create a sketch on this top face. And I'm going to draw a line between these two circles, kind of like what we did in the drawing. Now, the, for this to work in the drawing, this has to be an object line. It cannot be, for example, a construction line or a center line. It has to be a solid object line. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll save the drawing and jump, or save the model, I should say, and jump over into our drawing. And it tells me that changes have been made. So let's go ahead and update this. Now, it doesn't look like anything's happened. Well, I need to expand open my sketches folder and turn on the sketch two. So sketch one was the, the one that we used to create the solid body. Sketch two was the one where we added that line. And now you'll see that that has been turned on uh, in our view. And even though it was solid in the 3D model, it comes across kind of as this dashed line. However, I can now dimension to this just like I did before, and you'll notice I don't get the little warning symbol. And if I were to move my view around, we can see that those move with the view. So I like this method much better. In fact, you can even use this method to put like, you know, certain text on your view if you wanted to, or like a cloud pattern that says, keep this area clear for a decal or something like that, for example. Okay, now the next method I'm going to show you, um, not a lot of people know about, but I use quite often, is this center mark pattern command. And what this allows you to do, I'm going to turn on autocomplete. I'm going to hover over this circle, and you'll notice it's trying to find a pattern, which it does, those three circles across the top, and it's going to create those center marks for me automatically. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this first circle and then watch what happens when I move down to this circle. You can see it also recognized a potential circular pattern. And so it's trying to complete that all the way around. Now I don't want it to auto complete. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to come over to this other circle and you can see what it's going to do. It's going to create a center mark 
a, you know, at an angle between those two circles. If I say OK, we now have that center mark. And if I throw a dimension on here, just like we did before, same result, where no warning and it moves with the view when I move the view around. I could even, for example, let me delete this out of here, I could throw a center mark on this circle here and dimension off of that center mark. So I'll grab, um, this, instead of the endpoint, I'm going to grab that line, that line there, and it allows me to dimension off of that center mark. So, hopefully you found those tips useful. If you did, please give a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comments section below. Also, if you have any ideas for future topics, please email them to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.